Okay, folks, guess what? Still have pudding shots. <laughs> That's how many I ended up making. I bet I made 200, I guess. Still kind of feeling it. A little hoarse. We had a pretty good time last night, so. I thought I would get after it again. I've got to start making some more progress. I know a lot of you guys are waiting on videos, so. Hi, dog. What are you doing? So, set rep. There's been a change of plans again. Here's the bathroom. I've been sitting, not sitting, but standing, looking, contemplating, uh, thinking about all the things that me and some buddies have talked about. And I come to the realization what is the benefit of having a bathroom large enough to throw a football in? Uh, I really can't think of anything. So, I have opted to put the tub back where it originally was. Leave the toilet there. There's a couple reasons why. It's going to save me the headache of some plumbing. I won't have to relocate the vent tube. That's good. Won't have to cut another hole in the ceiling. That's good. Although none of it's hard, it's just hurdles. So I decided to go ahead and put the vanity back close to its original location. Why you might ask? Well, I don't know if some of you all know, but when you have a toilet and you flush it, small particles go in the air and I'm like you know it could be any kind of particle you could imagine do I want that really carrying over directly to my vanity being right next to it mm, probably not do you ever want your hand tails, towels next to the toilet no that's just kind of dirty so and you please forgive my mess it's I'm only human, okay? That's a reason. That's another reason. It would just make more sanitary sense to have the vanity away from the bathroom or a further distance away than right next to it. Also, um, if I do any kind of addition to this mobile home, the bathroom layout might change anyway. So I'm saving myself the extra work of relocating pipes because I'm probably going to have to do it in the future. Now I don't have to do it and I can only I can just relocate stuff one time if I do ever add on and be done with it. That's another reason. Also, do I really need a bathroom with a walkway, you know, basically four foot wide or close to four foot? Well, let's see, my foot is, you know, close to 12 inches or a little bit over. So there's two foot, three foot, four foot, boom, four and a half foot of walking space right here. Do I really need that? Is that a good use of space? No, I don't think so. But what I can do, since I'm already out of the closet here, I'm just not a fan of closets, I'm a dude. I don't have a lot of stuff to put in closets. So again, that's a use of space or useless space. So what I can do, knock this wall out, make the second bedroom bigger, which is a plus. See, plus. Although I probably won't use the second bedroom, it could be an office or a small studio to make videos. It would be a lot more usable. Mm, seems more common sense I guess you could say so that's my game plan now yeah I know I won't have this really big bathroom but do I really need it it's just me and the dog and if I have company even if my vanity comes all the way out to here okay and stops say right here that's a large vanity it's probably the largest vanity you can buy commercially size wise that's plenty fine my lights will make sense this light will turn into a vent my light switches can put them in the wall 
I won't have to do any more wiring. It's just overall easier, more sensible, and yeah. But if I do add on to this place and I have to move a bathroom to make bathrooms make sense, I won't have to do it for a third time. I just did it twice. So that's what I'm going to do. So right now, I'm just getting the, the tub back in its original location. Making sure everything lines up so I can start building this wall. I need to get rid of my, my laminate plank down here. Uh, so the tub will sit flush on the floor. This wall here is going to come all the way out to this crack. Okay, which will give me a, a nice little wall section here. Um, that way when you look in the in the door you won't necessarily just be looking or right super close to the bathroom now when i have the door here i'll have room for a residential size door you know if you look at my feet that's basically the opening and then when the door opens in okay i'll have enough space for the door to swing it won't hit my vanity so i'm happy with that it's just the way things are going to be. <laughs> so, I mean, would a super huge, large bathroom be awesome? Yeah, but I'm trying to keep grounded a little bit. You know, I know my imagination likes to go just crazy and, and have grand things. But i got to keep my feet on the ground and realize grand is cool. But right now, I just need to get functional. So that's what I'm going to do. Hope I'm not letting any of you guys down. That's just the way it's got to be, man. But the additions are further along the lines to actually happening than not happening. Just a lot of small details I have to iron out, figure out exactly what I want. And I'm still struggling with my buddy. He's make, he keeps doing these little blueprints. I'm still trying to utilize his ideas and make them if we actually do it it's it's good and not just i don't know i don't know what i'm really trying to say worth it i guess you could say so but anyway i think this is plenty big for a bathroom i don't need to be getting all nuts okay so i'm making some adjustments getting some measurements pulling the staples out of these little wimpy joists here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw these to here and screw this one to that one. Make that solid. Make sure this right here is nice and level, square with the floor. And then I will permanently attach it. Okay, so working on this wall, this divider here between the shower and the toilet, I'm kind of losing my mind because I'm trying to get all my measurements perfect everything perfectly level and square undoing stuff redoing it or screwing it and getting aggravated and then all of a sudden i realized wait a minute this trailer isn't even level going from side to side it's it's getting a tilt on it again because of it settling from where i had it leveled last time plus the trailer sitting kind of being twisted for so long i don't think it could ever be perfectly level so i'm sitting here thinking i was like okay if i make this wall perfectly level and square to a house that's already not level when they level it again this wall is going to be off so i'm just kind of putting it together and leaving it a little bit out of level out of square because like you know i could take this right here and you can see it's not level okay it's getting there but it's out in order to get this wall perfectly level I have to come all the way out here I don't know if I got my camera set right there we go I'm trying to do it you see what I'm saying how far out it is and that's about how far out of level the trailer is on this side so I'm going to take a gamble and leave it out of level on purpose so when it gets leveled again, this wall is still straight. Because if I try to make this just level the way it sits, when they make the trailer level, this wall is going to be crooked. 
uh, you know, just stupid stuff. It, I'm getting to the point now where I'm like, you know what? I'm not Bob Vila. This isn't this old house, and it don't have to be perfect as long as it looks okay. <laughs> so I know it's not the right way to go about it, but with the circumstances I'm dealing with, I think it'll be okay. And if it's not, I'll just do it again some later date, reluctantly, grudgingly, probably half drunk. So, yeah. So this looks good to the eye. I'm happy with it. I'm just going with it. So, okay. So now what I'm doing here is getting a quick measurement with this two by four trying to figure out how far out i want to go before i make the door and how big i want to make the door opening i think i'm going to make my door opening 36 inches that's basically i think it's like the standard for maybe somebody in a wheelchair i'm going to go ahead and make it 36 inches because i'm not going to have a swing open door here anyway I like swing open i will have a sliding barn door and that barn door is going to have a you know like a like a frosted glass in it, which is still gonna accomplish letting the light through and come in here to the laundry room. So that's my plan. So as you can see, you know, come on Mike. I'm gonna frame up this wall here for that. And then I'm gonna screw in the tub, make the tub nice and square as I guess you can be expected with the two by fours. And I'll keep you updated. Well, measurements have changed on the door opening. I called my buddy that I work with, and he said all the barn doors that you buy are 36 inches, so I needed to make my door opening 33 and a half inches because it would give me an uh, inch and a half overlap on each side, so when you shut the barn door, you can't peek around the corner. Like peek, peek through the, you know, cracked on the barn door in the wall. That way the door it gives complete privacy to the bathroom, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's what I've got accomplished so far. I've got the bottom two by four in place, ready to start building this wall on the back side of the tub. My door opening is gonna be 33 and a half inches right here. And you can see I got rid of that remainder of the uh, furnace door that I had right here. That way I can run the two by four all the way across and start framing in this wall here. That's what I've got done so far. Okay, so here we go. I ran out of two by fours, so it's basically forcing me to stop. So I've still got a little bit more to do. I've got to add another two by four here. I'm gonna put them on 16 inch centers. And then this two by three, when I get ready to start, if I start doing stuff to the back, or the bedroom or I decide to rebuild this wall and do it all in two by four. So I'll, like I said, I'll start right there with the two by four there, but I'm gonna have another one here. And then this is the doorway. As you can see, we got, see a two by four here and I'm out of two by fours. Cause what I was gonna do is just keep taking two by four this away and then just keep building this wall to where this corner is. That's my plan, but we're out of two by fours. So with that said, my work tonight is complete. I probably won't start doing any more work until the coming weekend or maybe Thursday. Because we're expecting more rain again and I'll get back after it. So I'll keep you guys in the loop. See ya.